This feels like my door and my chance, the path that's in front of me. Having women call me or having girls stop and say, this is so awesome you're doing this. And they're like, if that could have been a job for me, I would have loved that. On February 13th, Jenny Kavnar was named the lead play-by-play -play announcer for the Oakland Athletics, the first female for any team in Major League Baseball history. Tell me about your childhood, your dad, Steve, Hall of Fame high school coach and his influence in your life. For me, I never really fell in love with baseball. It was just always present, and my love for baseball grew as time went on. So some of my earliest memories are at the field watching him coach. How has Paul Blackburn benefited from guys like that? Because he was kind of the elder statesman by years with Oakland, but now you've I think, looking back, I maybe started developing reporter skills at the dinner table because we'd be talking strategy, me questioning the manager, so to speak, with my dad at the table and just trying to soak up knowledge and information. Kavnar honed her skills as a sideline reporter, first for the Padres and then the Rockies. I'm Jenny Kavnar back at field level. You know, Coors Field has been a tough place for Friedrich to pitch, but his last outing here, he gave five solid innings, only giving up one earned run. He's trying to look But in 2018, the Jenny got the call to be the first female play-by-play -play TV broadcaster in over 25 years. The people we worked with, thinking outside the box, telling me, it might not sound traditional because you didn't grow up doing play-by-play -play in your career, but like, we're gonna figure this out. And that ball is shot into left field. Fire up the fountains. She's gone. I love it. I love it. It was scary. It was so scary. Being sold like that, that you're not on your own trying something new, but you're together, that was cool. It's still a numbers game, and I know you guys are going to have some tough decisions this weekend. Does this... Now in her first year with Oakland, Jenny will have a partner she is very familiar with, former A's pitcher Dallas Braden, who grew up with her husband Steve. I always jokingly tease him and tell him, hey, can you go get Jenny and I a beverage so the big leaguers can talk baseball? Dallas is very close with my in-laws and my family, so I think I've learned through our friendship a lot about how Dallas sees the game, and so now I'm getting to experience that on the work side. What I want folks to understand about Jenny is the commitment and the dedication that has been made on her behalf to not only be here, but to be great here. She's a broadcaster, in my opinion. She's a damn good one, and so I'm just excited to get it going. The Giants and the A's hook up for a nice rivalry game in the Cactus League. We're so excited to be along with you today. I'm Jenny Kavnar. You know Dallas Braden. Let's get this party started. Uh, How do you prepare as a play-by-play? -play? For me, it starts with my scorecard, just getting information in, and then I'm such a sticky note person still. Just a quick hit so when they're up to bat, you can say what their batting average is or some highlight of, of their offensive category and what they're doing. Jenny is one of the most prepared broadcasters I've run across. It's sometimes rare to see, especially opposing broadcasters, come down to the dugout, talk to the manager, talk to the players. She's always there. On the ground, and that's the perfect play. Butler broke home. He's gonna be safe, slides under the tag. Joey Burke couldn't get it there in time. And that is exactly how the Oakland A's wanna put the pressure on you, and they did it here early against the Giants. Jenny is excellent, and now I think finally there is some movement toward getting young, smart women into sports casting, especially in baseball. And a diving Mike Yastrzemski makes a fantastic catch. You're not just inspiring someone by the job you're doing. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, it is, it's crazy emotional. It's like, maybe a girl didn't want to watch sports, but now she's like building a relationship with her dad or with her mom or with her family. and. That to me is such a bigger picture because it's about community.